What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mile High Misfits. So today's video is gonna be a little bit short and a little bit simple, but it's still something I wanted to go over. So right here we have the MPVI3 HP Tuners dongle, and then we also have the ProLink Plus from HP Tuners. This is going to allow us to basically get the readings from the AEM gauge that we installed last video and get them into the HP Tuners software for data logging. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire that up so that way you can read accurately. So stay tuned. First things first, we're gonna get the ProLink Plus and hook it up to the wiring that we already installed for the AEM gauge. Here's the gauge that I installed last video, and here's the wires that I was talking about. So you have a whole mess of wires right here, but we're really only gonna focus on these two. So we have this white one, which is your analog out, and then we also have this brown one, which is the analog ground. You can pretty much just ignore all these other wires. They're not gonna be important for this. So we also have the ProLink Plus, and this is gonna hook up to the MPVI3 in the OBD2 port, and then this side is going to hook up, this red one is going to be your uh, zero to five volt analog that hooks up to that white one, and then this black one here is going to be the ground that's gonna hook up to the brown one. I put these spade connectors on here and I kind of poke a yoke to them so that way you, know, you can't flip these around the wrong way, you don't wanna put you know, the power on the ground because that's gonna be a huge mess. So, um, you know, make sure to put the opposites on whichever ones you're doing. And so now at this point we can hook things up and then get it hooked up to the computer. Okay, now we're gonna take our MPVI3 and we're going to hook it up to the ProLink. So there's only one way this can go, so make sure that you plug it in correctly. And then uh, you just take this and you twist it until it fully seats. There we go. And now you take this and plug it into the OBD2 port. I'm also gonna take a little bit of electrical tape and just wrap it around here, just so that way we don't have anything stupid happen. Um, we don't want these crossing or we'll get some bad signals. Now I'm gonna take the USB-C and plug it into the MPVI-3, and then I'm gonna take this USB and plug it into the laptop. At this point, we have all of the wiring done. So now we're gonna come over to the laptop and open up the VCM scanner. So now that we're here, we're gonna come up here to add channel. And then we are going to scroll down to MPVI2, 2 plus, and then MPVI3, double click that. And then you'll see ProLink and ProLink plus. And then here are your two uh, inputs. So we did red, which is input one. So we're gonna double click that and add that to the channel. So now you can see that's added right there. And we're not done quite yet. So now you want to right click on this and then go to transform. And then right here, you're gonna see oxygen sensors and uh, air to fuel ratios. So double click that. And then right here, you'll see AEM 30 dash, and then it's got all these numbers after it. So if you click this, you're gonna see right down here, this does the conversion for you. So that way um, you can basically convert your voltage from that gauge into an air to fuel ratio. So, um, yep, we're gonna select that. We're gonna click okay. And now everything should be set up so that way we can start data logging. So at this point, the only thing left to do is to start up the car and make sure that the gauge is showing the same values as it's showing on the computer. So I just went up to here and clicked connect to vehicle. So now it's all connected and now we can start data logging. Then just press start scanning. So one step that I didn't realize I had to do when I was doing this is you have to go into your editor here, go up to help, and then uh, it has a option for resync interface. Um, doing that will basically give you your license and then it'll give you your credits and all that. 
So uh, I went and did that real quick. So that's an important step you don't wanna skip. So that's something that I didn't realize that you have to do. So if you have a new MPVI 3, you have to go through that whole setup process through the editor before the Pro Link will work because I kept getting the like not connected, uh, like X through the little key thing on the side and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I was like, maybe it's the wiring. So I checked all the wiring, all the wiring was good. Everything was hooked up. I was like, what is going on here? And so finally that's when I realized, I was like, oh, okay, I've got to go through this process. So um, if you're having an issue with that, that's what it is. It's super quick, super easy. But again, it's just a step that I didn't realize I had to do. All right, finally, there we go, guys. This thing is running super lean with the new cam, but there you go. You can see it's just around 16 or 17, and then here it's showing the exact same value. So that shows us that we did hook everything up right, everything's good to go, and right here, you can see it shows that it's connected. Before, I kept getting that little, it was like a key or something, um, and then it had an X through it, and that's how I knew something was wrong. It wasn't connecting, and it just kept uh, basically graying this section out whenever I try to uh, run it to read. So I don't have that issue anymore. This is showing perfect. So um, I just got a new tune from the tuner. So I'm going to basically flash this and then um, do a data log and then send it over to him for the next revision. So that's going to be the next video. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to do that this week for you guys. Um, the tune came in just a little bit late, so I wasn't able to get this video out uh, or that video out in time um, for this week. So that'll be next week's video. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how to hook up the ProLink Plus for HP tuners to your MPVI 3. Uh, this was a pretty simple video this week, but as you guys saw, even I messed it up a little bit. So um, this is something that it's really not hard to do, but it can be a little confusing if you're just unfamiliar with it. So again, I just wanted to put this out there so I could help you guys out, and I hope I did. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed the content for today, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. I'll catch you guys next week. Later.